Hi guys, Cloakfiend here. Today I'm going to be investigating if indeed you can, well, how to wipe off the white residue or what to do with it or if I have luck getting rid of it for me. Some people have luck getting rid of it, I just don't seem to have that luck. Maybe they can share how they do it. Um, but basically when you acetone it, it kind of absorbs the acetone and then over a period of time the kind of model sweats out that acetone but the acetone carries on going through I've drilled two holes here so it can evaporate a bit and it can basically sit there and absorb for like weeks and weeks on end and slowly slowly it can essentially shrink by like a couple of microns or whatever but that also affects any kind of post work you might do on it like metal plating which I've done on my poster some of my other videos so right now Obviously my sun, the sun is a bit on and off here, so it's going to be getting lighter and darker. I'm just going to basically acetone this and then kind of wait for it to go white and kind of clean it off. I've got some um, brushes here that I'm, just, you know, clean brushes, so they're not going to have any impurities on them. And uh, I'm going to get like a, my a scrubbing brush just to try and kind of get the, uh, hold on to try and get any residue off when it starts coming on so I'm off to get my scrubbing brush, I'll be back in a bit alright well I've got myself a toothbrush I think I should be alright to, to practice rubbing off and now I'll get myself the acetone hold on there you go acetone so I'm going to soak up my brush and then um, I'm going to try and just uh, I'm going to apply it with these big brushes here, probably, I don't know, maybe this, this one here, get a nice amount of surface area at the same time. I'm going to hold it at the bottom so I don't get fingerprints in the model because the acetone will make the PLA go soft. And this is, by the way, Red Color Fab PLA PHA for those interested. All right, here we go. Okay, so I've put a bit of acetone in here and I'm going to start applying it now. So put it in there, I'm just going to. try and put it on I've already done my little pre kind of sanding and just for those interested if it's actually better to scour the stuff off with a knife so on an edge you just you just go around like trimming off any like loose loose corners and stuff like that just rounding in them off that's the easiest way to do it don't don't waste your time with sandpaper but anyway here goes with the acetone I'm going to soak it up nice. Making sure that every bit gets covered, otherwise you're going to have weird leftover bits. And there we go. I don't mind if a little bit goes on the table. I've deliberately turned it around, by the way, in the meantime. And the sun's come out again. As you can see, there's red on the end of my brush, so... I know it's doing its job. Alright. Putting them in his ear, the other ear. It's already nicely smoothed out as expected. But what we're we doing now, we're now making sure that everybody's got a bit of. Sorry, I'm off camera. I just saw a bit more moiring, as I call it. I put some holes in the bottom this time around because I want I want the model to breathe because I, fi I found that if you don't have a hollow model or that your model is closed um, the acetone just carries on working for up to a month or something maybe not as strong but it does still carry on slowly doing stuff uh, I'm just gonna I'm, I might be overdoing it but I don't mind I printed this one really slowly just so I know it's bonded well, it's not going to crack on me. Alright, I'm just going to do that and that's it. I'm going to leave it now for a bit. And I can see the white already coming on. So let's see what we can do about that. I'm going to pour the acetone back in the container. Which I shouldn't have done because I've made the container impure now, but whatever. Now let's have a look at this. 
Okay, let's. So we've got the white business going on now, right? Let's see if the scrubbing will get it off. Oh, it does. Look at that. They were right. So yeah, by the looks of it, if you get to it at the beginning, indeed, you can take the white off. I might have been actually too late even. But it's still a little bit of it remains there. I can't seem to get rid of this already now. It's not going. There's bits that just don't want to go. So there you have it. I don't know, this bit does seem to want to go. But look, it's, it's kind of coming back. So, as you can see there, there's like a bit there and a bit there. The neck has still got the weight on it. <clears throat> I generally actually prefer to leave it rather than doing stuff straight away because the sweat actually if you leave the sweat horizontally like that or whatever then it kind of slowly goes down into the models and you get these because sometimes you've got the, the print lines or whatever the that you can actually they kind of dissolve out on their own but uh yeah the, the whitening for me you can't get rid of it it's there so if you're one of the lucky ones who can get rid of it, I, I can't. I can't remove it for anything. It won't go. It's permanent for me. So there you have it. Either way, here's another. I don't know. Can you guess who that's meant to be? He's quite current at the moment, but um, yeah. Anyway, there's my video about trying to wipe the white stuff off. It doesn't come off. Anyway, all right, that's all folks, see you later. All right, now interestingly enough, um, I actually covered it with more acetone after it kind of dried and it actually looks like it's got less whitening than before. All over. Still got a little bit on the ear. It's probably gonna come back in full effect and go completely white, but I'll come back to it in a bit. All right, see you later. Well, here's that same model again. So it looks like um, it didn't go white after all, which is quite bizarre. Um, so my solution to kind of the whitening in this instance seems to be applying the acetone once, then kind of waiting, I don't know, a couple of minutes, brushing off whatever I can, and then applying acetone again. So uh, I'm not sure if that's gonna work for you. Um, I'm not sure how other people do it, but it's not perfect by any respect, but uh, it's not too bad. Um, I, you can possibly put moisturizer on as well. I've noticed that that somehow gets rid of the uh, the whitening, but again, it's temporary. So uh, this this isn't looking too bad. There you go. That's what it looks like.